Let's begin with an update on Junction City's water crisis as the city continues into the fifth week of a stage two emergency water notice. Thank you for joining us here tonight. I'm Ariel Yakabazi. Matt and Renee are off. KEZI 9 News reporter Jennifer Singh talked with residents on how much a lack of communication has heightened these frustrations. Junction City remains in a stage two emergency water notice as the wells continue to struggle reaching production capacity. Two new wells are in the works, but residents say they want to know more. Uh, you know, the biggest problem is communication. People don't know. Randy Fletcher lives in Junction City and says the only way he knows what's going on with the water situation is because he went to the city council meeting on Tuesday. Not everyone has time to do that. City officials explained at the Tuesday meeting just how pressing the water issue is. We went from being able to pump 2,200 gallons a minute from our wells down to a little over 600 gallons a minute. They still don't know exactly the cause of these water supply issues. The city has already investigated several possibilities, but after no luck, they will be pulling, inspecting, and rehabilitating each of the four wells supplying the city. That's just really not acceptable. I mean, we need to have capacity to meet peak demand. Fletcher tells me, especially with new homes being built and the population expected to rise, they need to figure out how to keep up with increasing demand. The old days aren't coming back. You know, we're not going to be a quaint little crossroads town. You know, people are moving here for all the reasons I did. Affordable, it's nice, um, easy pace of life. The city is also working on two test wells, one of which is likely to go into production in 2024. New wells would hopefully prevent the city from falling back into a water crisis for several years to come. We will have information on when the emergency notice downgrades as it becomes available. But for now, officials urge residents to continue conserving water. Reporting in Junction City, Jennifer Sang, KUZI 9 News.